Okay, I just wanted to uh, make a little add-on video here uh, concerning something called line diagrams. And this is a, an alternative met method in which we draw organic chemicals. And it is a very quick and easy and convenient method. Uh, it is found in the textbook, but I do not mention it in any of my videos. So I'm going to do a quick little video here uh, right now. So a line diagram, as you can see here when you write it down, is a, is a simplified condensed structural diagram. So we're going to simplify it even more. That uses simple lines, that's supposed to say lines, to represent carbons and hydrogens. The ends of the lines represent the carbons, and the line itself is the bond. The hydrogens assumed to complete the bond capacity of four for each carbon. So we add the, uh, the right amount of hydrogens to complete that octet to complete a bond capacity of four. All right, so we add the hydrogens um, kind of in our minds. We don't actually write them down. Let me show you some examples of what this looks like. So ethane <clears throat> is a very simple, all right, uh, ethane is a very simple um, uh, alkane. It's uh, got two carbons in it. And if I were to draw the condensed structural diagram, right, so I'd have a CH3 and a CH3. There I've put the H's in there. Um, that's the way we do it for a condensed structural diagram. In terms of a line diagram, very simply, just draw the bond. That's it. That's the whole thing. That is the line diagram. So what does this represent? Well, right there on the edge, that, that terminal point on the line is the C and because it only has one single bond attached to it, we assume that there are three hydrogens coming off of that. So we assume that that is a CH3. We're doing the same there. We assume that that is a CH3. So the line diagram is a super simplified version where the terminal points of the bond represent the carbons, all right? And then we assume that it's going to have a bond capacity of four. So one, two, three, four. That means that we would have three H's attached to that end there. So you can see I've made a big mess out of this. So I'll put another example of it on the bottom. Boom, there is the line diagram for ethane, as easy as can be. So if I had three heptene, all right? So again, hept is seven, condensed structural formula, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three heptene, one, two, three, the double bond right there after the third carbon. And now I'd have to go back and add my H's. Again, just like we add our H's, right? There's one bond there, so an H3 is assumed, right? An H2. Here I've got one, two, three bonds, so I just need an H on that and a single H on that and then again an H2, and an H2, and an H3. So what would the line diagram look like that for that one? Well, we put some bends in it, because remember, many of these carbons are sp3 or sp2 hybridized. So starting with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you'll see what I did there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's my chain of seven, again, with each end of the line representing a carbon. And now I've got a double bond after the third carbon. One, two, three. So the double bond is after the third carbon, and we simply add a bond there, a line like that. So I've added a second line in there. One, two, three, double bond, four, five, six, seven. So there is the line diagram for three heptene. All right, let's do a, a couple more, and then we'll do some naming. So again, octine. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A three octine, one, two, three. So there's my triple bond. A five ethyl, one, two, three, four, five. So there is a C2H5. There's my ethyl group. And six, seven, I have a methyl group off of that. That is CH3. And again, with the condensed structural diagram, I've got to add my H's. H3, H2, four, so it's full. That's full of bonds. 
That's one, two, three, so I need an H in there. I need an H2 in there. I need an H in there. And I need an H3 in there. All right, condensed structural diagram. Line diagram. So I need nine of these carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, I only need eight of these carbons. I misspoke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, after the third, I've got a triple bond. One, two, three. So again, a line and a line, all right? So you can connect that there like that so you can see the three bonds there, line, line. That's kind of ugly, but that's the way that's drawn. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Notice I've got it down here now, and I need one, two. So you'll notice one, two. That makes it uh, an ethyl. And then on six and seven, I need a one. There we go. So there's the line there representing the one. So that's what that line diagram would look like for uh, octine. I didn't, I, I didn't, I could have went straight down and across. I guess I didn't need to go on an angle. It really doesn't matter exactly how that goes. You could have went straight down and then on an angle. That would have been uh, fine as well. Okay. So naming. We, uh, again, have to pick our longest chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I went up this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you'll notice I've got two chains of seven. But I haven't taught you how to name this funny branch here, but I can easily name this branch here. So I'm gonna go seven across this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means it's going to be a heptene. Oops, sorry, it's a heptane. It's a heptane. It doesn't have any double bonds in there. So it is a heptane. All right, and it does not matter uh, which end I count from because it is very symmetrical. So my branches, I got one there, I got one there, and I got one there, and those are all methyl. So this is two, so these are all methyl. And then this one here is one, two, three. That guy there is actually a propyl. Notice one, two, three. So this is propyl. These are methyl. And so methyl alphabetically comes before propyl, M M N O P, right? So I've got two, three, four, five, six, two, four, six. So I've got two, comma, four, comma, six. Try methyl. And then I've got one, two, three, four, four, propyl. And I don't need a dash in there. That should actually go together for propyl heptane. All right? So again, we name it the same way. We just have to be counting our carbons and assuming that these are just all CH3s. They're all methyl groups. All right, let's do another one here. Well, this is fun. Again, we've got a long chain coming across here and lots of methyl groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have an octane. Again, this is an octane. And look at here, these are all methyls. Methyl, 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 methyl. So it looks like I've got, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And it seems to be on the two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's lots of them, that's exciting. So this is uh, two comma three comma four comma five comma six comma seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then that is hexa methyl, because there's six of them, hexamethyl octane. That's fun. So there's all those groups off of there. All right, let's do one more. So here we've got one with a double bond. Again, it looks quite symmetrical, but remember the double bond must be in the main chain, and it looks like my main chain snakes around that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that makes it a nonine because I got a double bond in there. The ene is coming after the number two. Remember, it's got to have the smallest number. So that makes it a two nonene. And then I've got a methyl there, a methyl there, and a methyl there. So that appears to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try methyl, remember the dash between the numbers and the letters, to nonine, all right? 
So that's just a little introduction into line diagrams. Much easier to draw. And again, it's in the textbook, but I haven't uh, actually got it in any of my videos. So that's just a supplementary video there. Okay, hopefully that clears things up.